Prevents Planet Caravan by Black Sabbath. I will tackle both the guitar intro and also the bass line. Alright, so for the intro of the song, I'm going to be using standard tuning for this guitar. And I'm going to go ahead and also play the low E. That is the first note we will do for the intro. And then the next note we're going to play, I will also zoom in so you can see. It's going to be in the fifth fret right here. You can use your middle finger or index finger, whichever one you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to go ahead and play um, on the D string. If you notice, I'm playing first the low E without, which is going to be open. And then I'm going to go to the D string and play. So simply, the only thing you're going to do is go um, to the 5th fret and then the 4th fret. So Then go ahead and go to the 7th fret and play an a, the A string right here. So it will be E string first. Again, the tabs are on the screen so you can also see clearly which notes I am playing. Alright, so... Very simply, after that, I'm gonna go ahead and use our two fingers and one on the fifth fret, and my index is on the fourth fret and the string below. So the strings we are playing here is gonna be A and D. So it'll be. I'm gonna play very slow so you can see how clearly the way I do it. So. Alright, and that is how you do the intro, so that's all you have to do. So let's get right into the bass part now. So, this is pretty much the meat of the video, the meat of the song as well. We're gonna go ahead and go play the bass line, which pretty much repeats the entire song. So, the first thing we're gonna do is with this fretboard, I'm gonna go ahead and play first on the A string, and I'm gonna be playing on the seventh fret. So. This is also standard tuning, just like the guitar, E, A, D, G. Before you proceed, make sure your bass is tuned to that. And we're gonna go ahead and play it right now, so it will be like this. That should be the first note. Now, the tab, of course, as always, will be on the top of the video, so you can see clearly the way it goes, okay? so. Playing it slowly so you can see how the timing goes, but um, that is actually the entire song pretty much. Now, there is a guitar solo that is around the outro of this song, but that is simply for the guitar players to learn. This is simply for the um, tutorial regarding the bass. And also, I did show the guitar earlier, but that was for the intro because that might be needed so that you can establish the rest of the song. Okay, so once you've got that down, um, so Let's go ahead and go back to where we started. So, play on the A, and then I will zoom in. You can also go ahead and play like this. It will be. Notice the way I play this um, next one. It goes. Notice I am hammering down on the ninth fret, okay? So, after playing the seventh fret on the um, A string, Move down to the D string and hammer down. So seven nine will be. That's exactly how you play. So it'll be like. Make sure you've got that master down because you're just gonna repeat that for the entire five minutes or however long the song goes, and then um. Next thing you're going to do, after hammering down, you're going to go ahead and do... So play the D string on the 7th fret. So it'll be like... And then go ahead and go down to the 5th fret. So after you do this... 
You're gonna go ahead and um, use your index finger, hammer down on the um, fifth fret, which is the A string. Yes, A string, and then. So then, oops, go. Yeah, so then after you do that, okay, you're gonna go ahead and kind of like pull down on the um, seventh fret on the uh, D string and you're gonna go ahead and do like. So do. Yeah, so I'm playing it slower than usual, that is simply so you can see the way my hand moves, alright? So, pull down, um, not fret, I fret the, um, the fifth fret and then go back down to, uh, the seventh fret and just repeat that the, pretty much the entire time, really. So, your last thing you should get is something like this. I will play it slowly. Yes, so that's the entire bass line for the entire song, okay? So, make sure after you've got the guitar master down and the bass line master down, that's pretty much, you can pretty much just loop it as long as you want to, depending on what you're trying to play, or the actual song itself, I believe, is either four minutes or five minutes long. And um, the guitar intro itself is actually not too difficult as well, as you can see in what I did in the intro. Now, there is only one thing different and that is the guitar solo but that is near the end of the song and if you're a bass player you don't have to worry about that so the only thing you really need to worry about is the timing so you gotta strum um, the A string like this it'll be like notice though the timing the timing is crucial when it comes to this now the notes themselves may be easy but the timing is crucial it'll be like So do that quickly, it'll be like. Now I'm trying my best to show it to you on video. It's zoomed in so you can see my hand movements and um, definitely practice this in a slower tempo if you still need um, help mastering the notes. Uh, like I said before, that is how you work your way to efficiency. You don't have to like rush all the start and leave basically a um, jumbled mess as you play the bass. So. The reason why that's important is because the bass line pretty much makes up the song, like that's like the meat of the song as I said earlier. So make sure that you get the timing down correctly and then after you do, you only strum this twice before going down to do the pull. So once you've got that um, strum pattern mastered, that should be a piece of cake to play, alright? So, thank you for watching, that is Planet Caravan by Black Sabbath, they actually played this um, during the Space um, X launch, I believe, and it was used to wake up the astronauts, so um, I was surprised. As a Black Sabbath fan myself, I was, I was actually surprised to see that in the video, so yeah, that is how to play the bass line of Planet Caravan. If you want to play this solo, I can also make a separate video of that, but that will be for specifically guitar players, all right? So as bass players, all you need to worry about is the bass line, which is pretty much just the same thing over and over again. So if this video helped you out, uh, leave a like and subscribe, comment down below as well which song you want to learn next. Um, next video, I'm actually doing Scattered by Green Day, so I'll already release one probably tomorrow or the next day, depending if I'm busy or not. So, thank you very much for watching, and um, I will see you in my next guitar lesson.